So, uh, in the previous video, we had discussed that we need a bit more clarity on this aspect of our algorithm. Step two, rotating the mouth. Digitally, we're being forced into a situation where we really have to recognize very specifically how this is actually going to work. And if we remember, we needed a point um, in order to place uh, our plane about which, in the origin of our plane about which we rotate um, in the right place. So let's see how that looks by going back to a drawing board and saying, okay, great. Let's just look at the input output situation that works for us for that particular algorithm. What do, have we been given for that one then? What is the input? The input is a curve. We've already gone over that part of the script where we have selected out of this, out of this list of information, the curve. So we have that at this point. And now the key is, is we start to understand how we end up with that same curve, but transformed so that it looks like this, right? And we already know that one of the inputs, which is somewhat hard coded is 180 degrees. So that's an input, but it's not a huge one because it is uh, effectively a one time thing. Now, uh, we know that there's a rotate command and he takes in what he takes in geometry he takes in the angle and he takes in a plane yeah and we remember that basically the x y plane he takes in an origin and an origin is a point so we already know that this guy right here has already made his way up and this guy can go in here so the real question was how do we get this origin to work out for us and really that comes down to, well, what do you want to do? What is it that we really want to do? So let's just draw that out. So we have this and let's just draw kind of what we want. We are in the same place as what we, what we have. We'd like maybe something like that would be working out for us. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, how do we make that happen? What point is it that we've rotated about to get from blue to green here? And one would argue that that's something right about here, right? But we don't have that point. So the real question is, is how do I go from what I have, these two things, to that point right there? So how do I go from green, or sorry, blue, rather, how do I go from blue to black, and therefore we would be able to get to green? So the real crux of the, inf the, the problem right now is, I need to get the black from blue. So let's just make this even more specific now. Let's put it in again. Input is this. Output is, and I'll put it in the context of things, this. So see, we've zoomed way, way, I guess, zoomed in way, way, way down we've really started to recognize that the real problem is not a mouth or a smile or a whatever you want to call it. It's actually the fact that first we need to recognize how we're going to get something like this point. Yes. Uh, and this is parametric design 101. So I'll go ahead and spit out an idea that I would have. And obviously this is not the be all and end all of how to do this problem. But you know, if it were me, I see this thing as just a piece of data and that it is just a curve. And because I understand first principles, I always love getting stuff like curves because, and, and wanting to get a point because I know that a curve has in if infinite, sorry, infinite points. Um, now, of all the infinite points that exist along this curve, are any of them the black point that I want? No, but that black points geospatial or spatially rather exists sort of in the middle all of those points, would you not say? So one could get clever and be very clever and just say, well, what's the definition of a point that exists in the middle of a bunch of other points? Yeah. And you could just say, well, it's the, the, the centroid. It's the geometric centroid that would get you that same picture. Yeah. That would get you something like that. Equally, one could easily do this exact same problem. That could be a, a, a option one, yeah? Option two, just because we understand the data, I got infinite amount of points. 
Could I not try and cherry pick out this point, this point, yeah? So that I end up with, right off the bat, two points, yeah? I'll draw them, the computer will see them like this. There's two points. There's a list of two points. But you will see them sort of like this. And from there, could you not create a line? And then from there, could you not get the midpoint of that line, which roughly speaking is going to be all the same uh, for this algorithm. We don't need to be all that precise. These are both two equally valid algorithms, and there's so many more we could go over right now. So we're not going to focus in too much on what's right and wrong. Let's go back to the machine and see how we could implement one of these two uh, to be able to make the mouth flip.